second update and I keep getting all these messages um yeah uh, if you've not been around the channel for a period of time uh, I'm not an emotional person especially when it comes to trading and uh, so uh, some of the stuff that I've seen uh, I don't have any input or anything that I can help you with. I mean, prices move up and down all the time. <laughs> and uh, there's absolutely no point in uh, getting emotionally involved. Uh, I'm sticking to my plan. I was looking for us to drop from up here, um, somewhere in this resistance zone. Or if we would have broken out, then I would have gone long. But uh, we broke down, and uh, that was the highest probability from May into July, um, the likelihood is that we would make lower numbers. Now, this has been somewhat exacerbated. It's like, uh, you know, uh, way beyond what its normal normality should be. Um, but that's fine. Um, crypto is like that. It's always been like that. 50% uh, moves uh, downward uh, from a top uh, happened quite a bit if you go through the history of Bitcoin. Uh, sometimes there were moves of 25% or greater. Those usually get capped pretty quickly and rebound. Um, but uh, those have occurred throughout the history of Bitcoin as well. And I, I know that if you're not used to trading them, if you're new, that this is going to seem like, oh my God, end of the world type of stuff. But it's not. It's just uh, another iteration of uh, how Bitcoin, the volatility and how it retraces. Uh, it's just the way it is, uh, and it's the way it's always been. <laughs> uh, I know that could be a little unsettling, but that's just uh, that's crypto for you. Um, all right, so anyway, I want to go on about you know the buys that I've had, and they're starting to execute. Uh, they all started when we got that move down here, and we went down to under the 46K, and I started buying, and bought down here, uh, bought down here and here um, and I'm just buying as it goes lower and uh, you know I've got my plan uh, of course when I start selling it'll be about this number up here in the 49 mid you know 49 400 somewhere in that range uh, right there uh, so I'm looking to sell I might sell more than 10 percent I have got a lot of my buys triggered just now I had the one that was at uh, 37,300, um, which was under the uh, what do you call it? The uh, what what percentage is this here? My brain's not working. I just woke up. Um, yeah, the the 50 percent mark um, for the the move from where we came from, which was all the way back here from when the breakout occurred. And this breakout was um, the lower, um, the higher low, the higher low. It was my brain. Oh, wow, I need coffee. <laughs> uh, so we broke out from being in a downtrend here, um, and uh, then we made our moves all the way up to where we went up to 64k, and now that we've retraced from here. Um, you know, from this breakout level down here, which was a, a higher low. Yes. And that higher low where is where I calculate the move from to the top of where we are. And so the 50% mark went over and was hit right there at that 37,300. So we could very well have a, a bigger move from here and under. It might even just go all the way down to the 35, which is the next level that I want to buy. Um, that is the, the big green zone. That, that's where it starts getting very interesting statistically. Uh, you could have a, a very um, violent up move all the way back up to here. Remember, we're going to be talk, um, focused on this now. This is our, our target right here. And, you know, part of me is like, don't even bother selling anything. Just keep it, you know, because uh, you, as you go into winter and summer fades, you're likely going to get a move that goes above, and we're going to track back to this trend line. I know a lot of people sort of find that hard to believe or don't likely see that, but uh, uh, 
that is the more likely scenario. And I don't get to choose that, you know, just like I don't get to choose that the more likely scenario right now is that we go down and we can go all the way back down to where I started buying over here at 30K. And that's one of the reasons I hedged with like BNB. Let's go back to BNB down here. And I've got my target all the way down here. So, you know, that was one of the reasons uh, as well. I'm looking for Tesla, which is similar. Uh, so that's going to free up a lot of money for me as I take profits into these in the future. Um, I want to put it into crypto. Uh, I believe that crypto is going to have a bang up. You know, the numbers tell me that the, the big numbers are coming later in the year. And everything is uh, moving as it should. Uh, so nothing to be seen here. Um, all the fun and all the news and all, I don't, I don't care. I never paid attention to that before. I'm not going to pay attention to it now. That will occur. Um, what what has the effect on the market versus the other? It doesn't matter, honestly. It just gives you the opportunity to buy low and sell high later on. <laughs> and rinse and repeat over and over. And uh, if you've been doing this, and I've been doing this for a good many years now, that's the, the way it goes. And there's no point no point in getting emotionally involved or feeling good or bad about the price movement that you get here. Uh, that type of, um, uh, if you get emotionally involved, you're rewiring your brain to do the opposite of what you should. And that's bad because then it clouds your judgment. And your goal is to observe what happens most often and, um, uh, you know, try to make more money than you lose and make good trades and by doing that over time you will advance you will learn about the market and you will do the thing that everybody's trying to do is that's make money right um so anyway uh what's what's another another interesting oh let's go back to our bidow bidow got Clocked a little bit here. I went right up to break out and then it pulls back again. This is still a good buying opportunity. I can see it. It broke up here. Um, very thinly traded. You know, if you're not on that exchange or have availability or do the DeFi, you know, the decentralized um, thing, then don't worry about it. But um, this is the one that popped up on my screen as being uh, likely to break out upwards all the way up to numbers and I would take anything less than a hundred percent for half and then see where it goes from there so that was my idea behind this and uh, so we go all the way up here from under let's say three cents all the way back above seven cents so I'd be looking for above seven cents for half and then um, let it go and see where it goes and go to outer space who knows we'll see it's very thinly traded if you're gonna do a trade like this in my opinion um, these are the type of trades that I would uh, look for larger you know returns on or else it's just not worth it and I've had several of these that have had you know returns of uh, two times to five times and pretty amazing um, but that's what the smaller little um, tokens do. So uh, we'll see. Uh, anyway, so there's Bitcoin. Let's take a look at that right now. It's kind of bounced when it dropped down below here. And get pretty close to if it gets down to here, the 35. Um, okay, that's my next buy area. 35, 300. I had 37.3, right? So now 35.3 is the next one down, just to let you know ahead of time. Other than that, um, I'll keep you updated during the week, but everything is going as you know expected, and uh, I hope nobody was caught flat-footed on this, but uh, I, my videos have pointed it out for, for months now. It's just, it finally happened. Uh, but other than that, my point is don't get emotionally involved. Markets go up and down. And uh, crypto has a great future, no matter what the Chinese or Elon Musk say. <laughs> anyway, have a great week. I'll talk to you later.